Praise, honor, glory belongs to God. I greet you on this Wednesday. I believe that he is still in charge. Amen. The Bible says that for this reason, the son of man was manifested to destroy the works of the enemy. I believe that God is in charge of your October and he's going to do you good. And he's going to cause all things to work together for your good. Because the name of God is a strong tower and anybody that runs in scripture says salvation belongs to them. Amen. Let me run on to my assignment quickly today. I want to share something with you from the book of Jonah, the book of Jonah chapter 1 the verse number 15 jonah chapter 1 the verse number 15 the bible says that the soldiers picked jonah up and threw him into the raging sea and the storm stopped at once the soldiers picked jonah up threw him into the raging sea and the storm stopped at once i want to share with you on what i believe is critical which is i love you but you have to go I love you, but you have to go. I want to show you something very critical, but let me begin to SG the test a little bit. Now, we all know the story of Jonah. Scripture says that there was a man of God who was sent to go to Nineveh, but he decided to run to the opposite direction to Titus. So he bought a ticket. And unfortunately, he bought, I mean, unfortunately for the passengers that were in the ship, he became a risk to them. So scripture says that the Lord sent a huge storm against him. And when the storm was raging, their life were at risk. So they began to inquire and they found out that he was a reason why the storm was raging but because of the of the fact that he's a human being and because of the fact that he has not really done anything wrong but just that he is he's in the wrong part of uh, his destiny was at stake here they decided to keep him and work hard to keep the ship to the, to the land but it didn't work out because the storm were raging very hard and so eventually they had to say i love you but you got to go and that is really not the the main point even though my title might mislead you what i came to let you understand what you uncover is the fact that in the first place all of us here we have the understanding and the simple understanding that if somebody is a bad influence in your life the person must leave your life if somebody is a negative force in your life they must leave your life but i came to talk about the people that are positive the people because considering what is happening um Jonah is the most righteous guy on the ship. Jonah is the most anointed guy on the ship. Jonah is the most covenant, is, is a guy with the covenant on the ship. And so if anybody is needed, he should stay. But I came to elevate your mind and understanding to another level of thinking, which is the purpose of a person is more important than even his character. In other words, if you connect with somebody whose purpose is not in line with your purpose, you, you are going to run yourself in a bigger problem so what i want you to understand that don't look at just character look at purpose because purpose is a person who has a good character who is in the wrong purpose could still ruin your life you can marry a person who is a very good woman but they are not in the same purpose as you are and that can destroy your life as i came to let you understand that purpose is very significant and purpose makes character like nothing as i want you to understand that you must come to a point where you must consider the purpose of the person that i wish you and because of that you got to make some changes you got to look at the purpose of a person in your life and if the destiny if the purpose if the plan if the assignment of the person is opposite to that which god has called you to do at the end of the day that is what i can talk about that there are some people that they are not bad people but when you understand that the reason why things are not working out is because they are not called to walk the same path you gotta let them go people that are not in the same assignment as you are you cannot be with them it is very clear any person destined to Nineveh in a Tarshish ship no matter how holy how anointed how prophetic he is he cannot be your partner because the storms of life will be against you for a reason you don't understand and so I want you to understand that purpose is critical and let me make it practical what I'm saying is that you have to make sure that the direction of your life is where you fall in love you have to make sure the purpose of your life is where you find a partner character is not enough 
a good man who must go to Nineveh and on his way to uh, Tarsus is not a good man anymore. Anybody who is going in the wrong direction is the wrong person. And so I want you to have this boldness to understand this next level. And I'm speaking to leaders, I'm speaking to men again, I'm speaking to people with purpose. I'm speaking to people with people that God has an assignment on their lives. Sometimes you connect with some people and that, that is the end of your life. And so I want you to understand that you must come to a place where you say, I love you, but you have to go. I love you, but this is where the bar stops. Because without that, you will not stop your storms. It's very critical. And so I want to pray with you that you understand that without understanding the significant purpose, you cannot fulfill your plan father in the name of jesus i give you thanks i give you praise i give you honor i glorify your name and i pray oh god that you will cause your people to be strong you will cause your people to receive that ability to discern and to know the purpose with which they are connected to the people in their lives and i pray that if there's anybody under the sound of my voice who is going through a storm whose ship is going through a storm because of a particular person on board Lord, I pray that Father open their eyes to begin to behold and let them pick it up. So at the end of the day, victory shall be theirs and the glory will go back to you. We honor your name on this Wednesday in Jesus name. Amen.